Hi, it's Stu from Abacus Motorhomes. Thank you for choosing us for your motorhome hire. Uh, before you set off, there's a couple of operating instructions we want to run through with you, so let's get started. We have two keys with this model. The large key, which has the flip out, that is your ignition key, but it's also used to remove the diesel cover. The remote buttons will only operate the cab. The smaller key will be used for all the other locks, gas lockers, toilet lockers, and also the habitation door. You'll need to enter the key, give it a quarter turn back to the right and back to the central position to open, to lock it, a quarter turn to the left, back to the central position and out to secure it. All Abacus motorhomes are diesel, so you will need to refill the tanks upon your return. Uh, some models do have the additional add blue tank. Um, just be aware, they generally have a range of about 1200 miles. So if you are doing more than that for your trip, you may need to refill it while you're on your journey. The control panel in this model is very simplistic. The button in the bottom left hand corner will indicate whether the panel is on or not. Leave it on all the time, you don't need to switch it off. The amber light on the side here indicates when we have a successful 230 volt power supply connection from a campsite. Top button here is for the water pump, so we press that to activate the pump if we need to use the taps to shower or flush the toilet. The two buttons on the right hand side, this one here will show me how much charge is in the leisure battery and how much water is in the fresh tank. This one will show me how much charge is in the vehicle battery and how much water is in the waste tank. So if I hold that, you can see you have a full charge of battery and a full tank of water. And this one, we have a healthy battery and an empty tank of water. To control your hot water and heating, simply press the button in the middle and your icons will begin to flash. The first icon here is for our ambient heating. So press the button and then turn the decoder to set the ambient temperature that you want. Press to confirm. The next one is for hot water press and then we can choose between eco hot or boost we generally recommend the eco setting which is around 40 degrees and press to confirm lastly we can select the power source we want to run our hot water and heating from press the button and then we can choose between a gas a mix of electric and gas and electric on its own gas is obviously if you're not on a campsite and not hooked up to the mains Mix one and mix two is one or two kilowatts of electricity combined with gas. If we don't want to use any gas, then we can just isolate it to one or two kilowatts of electricity. And press to confirm. Using the cooker, it's a very basic function, but there's a couple of safety points to be aware of. If you have a glass top, be sure to lift it before you use the hobs, okay? When you have finished using the cooking on the hobs, let them cool off before you replace the glass as they can get very hot and you obviously don't want that to crack or break. Grill and oven positioned down below. You'll have your ignition point on here and then all you've got to do is open the door, switch it to the section that you want and press the button to ignite. And then again, just remembering to close that off when you're finished with it. Now the fridge on this model is the automatic Fetford model which means it's automatic is it will look after its own power supply. So what that means is if you're on a campsite and you're connected up to the mains, it will automatically run off the 230 volt electrical power supply. If you're not hooked up on the mains, it will run itself off of gas. Anytime the engine is running, then it will run off of the battery. The vehicle comes with a TV, which has a built-in DVD player. If you wish to use either of these functions, you can simply do this by using the remote. You have the source button at the top, so you can choose between TV or the DVD function. If you're watching TV and you need to tune it, simply go to the TV menu, tab down once you get to the satellite symbol and press to confirm, and then just select auto tune and that will automatically tune all the TV channels in that region. So before using the toilet, you will need to remember to pull the gray lever to the right. That will open up the cassette. Then you can use the toilet the blue button to flush after you've finished, and then remember, always set the grey handle back to the left, ready for the next use. 
Cool. So to operate the windows in this model, press the buttons in, release all the latches, and then press from the middle, and it should click on both arms, and then secure the window. To close it, push it all the way from the middle up to the top, and then back down again, and then remember to lock all the arms back into place. In the storage area of the vehicle, we've supplied you with a mains cable for 230 volt connection, hose for refilling your water supply, kit bags for breakdowns. You've got high-vis jackets, warning triangles, breathalyzers, leveling blocks, dustpan and brush, broom, awning handle, and also the tablets for your toilet. Connecting to 230 volt power supply on a campsite, we have supplied you with the cable. Most important rule of thumb is make sure that the lid always goes in first. Press the rest in, make sure it's secure and close the flap down. To remove the cable, sharp pull and replace. To refill your water tank, you simply need to lift up the flap, unscrew the cover, take your hose from the back, unwind it completely connect it up to the nearest tap on site, and then drop the nozzle in to refill it. Once the water starts coming back out of the tank, then you know it is full. At that point, obviously remove the nozzle, replace the cap, and return your hose back to the vehicle. To empty the gray waste in this model, reach underneath and you will see there's the gray pipe. There's a handle about six inches away from it. So take the handle, point it downwards towards the ground, any water in the waste tank will then drain out. Once it's complete, simply twist the handle back up into the nine o'clock position. Right, so to empty the toilet on this model, open the door and then lift the handle to remove from there and then you should just be able to slide the box out. If you've left it open on the inside, you will not get the box out. Once you've done that, press the orange button down to release any trapped air, any gas or pressure that might have built up inside the box. At that point, then you can take the spout around, take the cover off and tip out the contents. Once you've done that, place a blue tablet back down the neck, add a couple of jugs of water, replace the cap, close it and return the box inside. So to refill the gas on this model, open the door. You've got two gas bottles are inside of there. They're fully regulated, so to refill them, all you'll need to do is remove the cover, take the gun from the LPG pump and place it over the top of the bayonet fixing. It then has a locking mechanism which will hold the gun into place. Once it's connected safely, all you do is hold the button down on the pump. That will refill both cylinders at the same time. Once it stops, it's finished. Release the gun and replace the cap like so. To use your awning on this model, first you'll need to take your extender pole, extend it out for the full range. The T-piece will then lock into there. You can then start to unwind. And just check in that it winds out even and flush to the vehicle. Once you get it to the area that you want it, then within here, you will find the leg mechanism. Come to this end here. There's a little thumb piece. Pull back on that. That will then remove the leg. Make sure that the foot is flat. Point towards the ground and there is a small plastic flap just on the inside of the leg. If you lift that up to about a 90 degree angle, you can then extend the leg, get it to the height that you want it, and then push the flap all the way to the top. Repeat the process on the other side, okay? At that point, you can then take the pegs and the mallet from the bag, peg the feet down to secure it. There is also an additional storm strap if you should need to use it. We don't recommend using awnings within weather that is not fair or still as strong winds can take them over the top of the vehicle and we don't cover them on our insurance. I hope you've enjoyed the videos and the tutorials and found them useful in preparation for your hire. 
Uh, we look forward to seeing you. If you have any further questions or you need any assistance from us, please don't hesitate to contact us on the main number or head over to our website or drop us an email. Feel free to share with us all your experience with Abacus Motorhomes uh, through our social media pages on Facebook or Instagram, uh, or head over to our website to leave any further feedback. We look forward to hearing from you.